Welcome back. In this session, we're going to paint the sky for our monochromatic cityscape. Um, in the past, here we used primary colors in the first row of buildings and secondary color in the second row of buildings. And now, for our sky, you're still going to use a monochromatic tints and shades, but we're going to use um, this turquoise color for our sky. It's kind of uh, a good sky color. It'll be a little different than what we've had um, in the past. Even if you chose blue, it looks a little bit different than blue. If you chose green, it looks a little bit different than green. Um, and we're going to make tints and shades of that. So I'm going to take my white paint and put it there. Take a little extra black paint and put it there. And then we're going to make our sky. We're going to start by making the lightest part down here and making it darker as we go up. I'm going to use my quarter, or my, uh, quarter inch easel brush and I'm going to make um, a large pile of tint. So I'm going to take some white and add my turquoise color into it to make a tint. Notice I have my little bitty water cup, I have my clean cup, and I have my dirty water left over from my last session. So mix this paint uh, very thoroughly so you have a nice mixture of um, tinted turquoise here. And then we're going to kind of paint this into a row. So I'm actually going to take like a straight line and put an imaginary straight line here like that. And then I'm going to paint below that. All right. And I'm just going to take this brush and pull it across and edge it right next to my building. If you overlap your building ever so slightly, that's all right. Um, as long as you cover it so it looks like you meant to do it. Right. Let's not have sloppy brushwork. All right, so I'm going to just cover this area with my tint. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, cover it with my tint. And then we're going to make our next band go up higher than that, be just a little more turquoisey. Okay, now we've got that band in. I'm going to take a little more turquoise and add it into my mix so that I have a little darker tint of turquoise. Okay, and you can see how that piece is darker. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that right next to the one I had before. You can kind of see the two. And now I'm going to do something that um, might be new to you, and it's called blending. Right here on our paper, we're just going to take our brush and we're just going to move it back and forth kind of holding your brush vertically as you pull. And we're just going to blend that color in you so there's no line there. And we're just going to blend it so that there's kind of uh, not so much of a harsh straight line, but there's like kind of a gradual color shift from one to the next. So you can kind of see how that looks. And that'll give us the feeling that the sky is really um, changing as it gets higher because that's what the sky does in nature um, is it changes it gets a little darker as you get higher up into the cloudy atmosphere up and up above so there's my um, kind of darker turquoise color and I'm going to take even more turquoise get to almost pure turquoise here it's still a tint because there's still white in there all right, but it's a little darker now. And I'm going to take that in the next level here, being yet a little darker, and I'm going to blend that in to my already wet paint. Now, blending only works if the paint you're moving, the, your, the, the second level of paint you're moving is wet as well as the first layer of paint. And so as you're kind of s blending back and forth, you're getting the two paints kind of uh, mixing together, kind of like we mix on our palette, but we're mixing it on the paper. All right. Now you'll see that that's a pretty even, gradual change from light to dark. And if I take a little bit of white, even, and add it back in on top, 
you can then blend a little bit more if you're getting an area that's not looking too blendy, I suppose. All right, and there we have our blended sky so that we've got an even gradual transition from light to dark. Now notice I didn't even end up using my black because I didn't have enough um, area to make that shade up on top. And I really, I just want that to be a blended area of tint up there. All right, now if you want to and you want to go a little bit further um, in this, you could take a little blob of white and try to make a cloud by adding it into there. Now if I take a little bit of black and I just make a little gray color and then I add that grayish color right underneath the bottom of the cloud that's going to make it even look more realistic. Kind of like that. And no one ever sees just one cloud, so I'm going to take another little bit here and make a second cloud and put my gray underneath it. I'm actually going to get a little darker gray this time. Good, so there we have two clouds in our blended turquoise sky. All right, and that's where we will leave off our session and we'll come back in our next session to paint the water on the bottom.